Hi guys, my name is Peter and welcome to a brand new video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy a static website on AWS using S3. So right now I am in my AWS console and let us search for S3 in the search bar and select the first option. So this is going to take us to the S3 section. And the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on the create bucket option right here. And here we need to specify the bucket that we want to create. And the first option is uh, the general configuration, which uh, basically asks for uh, details like the bucket name, the AWS region. So while giving the bucket name, uh, we need to basically consider some uh, guideline that is the bucket name must be unique and also should not contain any spaces or uppercase letter. And another thing that uh, you need to consider is that uh, if you want to uh, connect a domain with this particular bucket, make sure that the domain name and uh, the bucket name is the same. So as of now, I don't have a domain to be connected. So I'm going to give a random name for this particular bucket. All right. Now I have given a bucket name and uh, the second option is to provide an AWS region. And I'm going to go with uh, us dash east dash two. And uh, moving to the, to the second section where we need to specify the object ownership and I'm going to leave it as uh, the ACLs disabled, which is the recommended option. And after that, uh, here we can see that uh, block all public access has been ticked. This means that the bucket and uh, the, all the objects inside it are private and uh, we can't access it. And uh, since we want our static website uh, to be publicly accessible, uh, I'm going to uncheck it. And this also has uh, an associated risk that is uh, the entire object will be publicly accessible. So we need to acknowledge it by clicking on the check button right here. After that, we have got a bucket versioning. So this is an awesome feature because uh, bucket versioning allows to create multiple versions of a particular object. So for example, you have updated a particular file on your bucket and after updation, you found out that uh, this particular file has got some error. And if you have enabled bucket versioning, you can easily roll back to the previous version of the file. And this is an awesome feature. So as of now, I am going to disable it. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to leave all the other things as default. So basically we have given a bucket name. We have specified the AWS region and we have also unchecked block all public access. And that's it. Now let's click on the create bucket option right here. And that is going to basically create a new bucket. And as you can see that our bucket has been created and uh, now let's click on the bucket. So the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to upload all the files onto this particular bucket. You can either drag and drop the entire file right here or else you can click on the upload button here. And uh, you have got an option to select uh, or add files individually or add folders individually. But I'm going to simply drag an entire file, sorry, an entire folder here. And once you have uh, dragged and dropped a file, you can see all the files in it. And uh, after that, you can scroll down and click on the upload button. And uploading a file actually takes a couple of uh, minutes. So I'll see you guys once the uploading process has been completed. So guys, the entire file has been uploaded. As you can see, all these files have been successfully uploaded. And uh, now let's click on the close button in the top part. And uh, here you can see this is the folder that I have uploaded. And if I click on it, you can see all the files. So I'm going to open up the index.html file. And here you can see that we have got the object URL. So if I click on it, here you can see that the access has been denied. So to basically access the website, uh, we need to do two specific things. So let's go back to console and let us basically go back to our uh, bucket and uh, here first of all let's click on the properties option right here and let's scroll all the way down and let's basically enable static website uh, hosting to do that let's click on the edit button right here and let us click on the enable option and once you click on the enable option uh, you can choose an hosting type and i'm going to choose host a static website and after that, you need to specify the index document. And uh, if you remember, uh, I have named my index file as index file itself. So I'm going to enter index.html. And uh, there is an optional option to add an error document. So basically, if at any case your uh, index file uh, has been corrupted, 
So the corresponding error.html will be uh, opened up instead of the index.html. But uh, as of now, I don't have an error document, so let's skip it. And uh, once you have uh, entered uh, the details like uh, you have selected or enabled static website hosting, you have selected host as static website, and also you have specified the index file, then you can click on uh, save changes. Now that is done. Now let's move to the second option where you need to click on the permissions option right here. You need to scroll down until you find bucket policy. Click on the edit option right here. And uh, you need to basically modify the bucket policy. So AWS actually provides a couple of examples for bucket policy. So let's search for uh, AWS bucket policy. And let's click on the first option right here. And in this particular page, if you scroll down, you can see an example bucket policy. So here you can see a bucket policy for uh, read only permissions. So let us simply copy it by clicking on the copy icon. Let's go back to console and I'm going to delete it and let's paste it. And uh, here you can see that this is basically a template. We need to replace it with our bucket name. So I'm going to simply copy my bucket name from here and let us replace it. And once that is done, let us basically click on save changes. And now you can see that we have got a tag which states that uh, our uh, bucket is publicly accessible. So now if I go and refresh our web page, we can see that uh, our web page should hopefully come up. Yes, it's working. So this is how we can host a particular uh, website on uh, S3. So if you want to get uh, the URL, you can again uh, go to your objects, click on the folder, again click on the index file. And uh, if you open up this particular object a uh, URL for the index file. Uh, our website should hopefully come up and it's working perfectly fine. So that's it guys. This is how we can basically host a static website on S3. So this has its own uh, disadvantages like uh, the objects are uh, public accessible. But for a simple website, if you want to host it for free, especially if you're having a free tier account on AWS, this is an easy way to basically host your website. Unless uh, if you are not worried about this particular huge URL, uh, it is perfectly fine. And if you have got a domain uh, on dot fifty three, or if you can import a domain from any other uh, domain provider, and I uh, can directly link uh, your domain and this particular S three bucket, and things will be all sorted out. So that's it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video. Until then, bye.